everybody welcome back to crafty cabbage so today i am going to be drawing a toucan um i really like um this bird it's super cool but anyway i've been practicing with these and i really wanted to draw a toucan because it's so vibrant and i really love the colors and i thought it'd be good to get to know these um pencils a little more i've only done two or three drawings with them so far so anyway let's jump right into this youtube video so the materials i'm going to be using is um, obviously a Prismacolor set of 48 colored pencils. Um, these, um, I got it on Black Friday, but you can use any kind of colored pencils. Crayolas will work just fine. I also have an HB standard drawing pencil. It is um, a light um, I mean drawing pencil, as it will not focus for you guys. There we go. And I just have this thick piece of paper. I believe it's watercolor paper. I hope this works. I do not have any fancy papers. You could probably use printer paper. Um, I wanted this to be a very big piece of paper because I wanted this piece to be very nice and large as I feel like the big pieces are more striking and cooler. So today I'm going to be using the grid method because it is very helpful and this really helps you be accurate with your drawing. I also selected my colors I'm going to need. I have a set of 48. I recommend no matter what kind of pencils you have that you try to get as many pencils as you possibly can. I'd say a minimum of 36 for realistic drawings because they really, there's so much um, contrast that you have to make. If you want it to be realistic, however, use what you have and that's the most important thing. So pretty much I am um, just using a light pencil and a black colored pencil to basically make the outline. I'm also adding the yellows and um, stuff like that. Um, I just searched up um, a picture of like a toucan. Um, I added a grid over it obviously. And then you can also search up pencil sketch of toucan bird or something to that effect. And then I got this one right here which I think is very helpful because then you can just see what it looks like. So basically I have the basic sketch. I think it looks pretty decent. I mean, it's obviously just the beginning sketch and the colors aren't in there yet and anything. So I think it's pretty even. I used the grid method so I can erase the grid now and get coloring. So basically I layered um, some turquoise and some green and some black for the pupil. And now I have some acrylic paint and I'm actually gonna paint in the highlights. 
then I can use an X-Acto knife if I need to um, remove any paint that could get in the way. So pretty much I have been working on this drawing for a few days now, and I think it's looking super, super nice. Um, I, of course, am not quite nearly almost done. Um, and um, I just built up lots of layers of the wax. And something I found important is to not press too hard. If you're new to Prismacolors, don't press too hard. Go over with a bunch of layers. And if it's like the not perfect color by like even the tiniest amount, just keep blending two colors and then you will get even more realistic look. Like this eye, there was no perfect color, so I did a lot of blending. And I think now it's looking super cool. The lighting is not great because the wax is being reflecting light, but I'll show you the finished result once it's done. So there it is. I really hope you like it. I think it turned out super nice. Um, so basically for the beak, you just want to blend similar colors together. Now, even if you have a color that's almost exactly perfect, you want to blend colors that might not be quite the exact same to get a really, really, really smooth result. So um, uh, that's pretty much all for this video. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, please drop a like. And if you did enjoy it, you're definitely going to want to subscribe and click the notification bell. Because I post weekly art videos that are very similar to this one. Except some of them are more of me doing art. Some of them are more teaching art. So whatever you want with art, you're definitely going to want to subscribe. Click the like button if you enjoyed this video so I know to make more of these. Comment down below for the algorithm or if you have any questions. And I'll see you guys in my next video next weekend. Have a great day. Bye.